I'm going to show you a little product we bought at Tuesday mornings. Tuesday morning. Tuesday mornings? Is it what it is? Tuesday morning. Um, we bought this for $6.99 the other day. And both of us, both me and Tammy, both need tripods for our phone. And you can order them online, and you just never know what you're going to get. You don't know what they look like, you know, like that. So um, we bought these. We bought two of them, one for me to take to work to do lunchtime review videos. And Tammy wants to have one here so she's not propping stuff up on books. So the little rubber thing works pretty good, but you still, to get any height on it, you still have to lean. You have stuff to sit it on top of books. This will keep us from having to get um, stuff and bring it in here and propping it up because it actually raises it up some. Um, I'm just going to open. Here's what the packaging looks like on the inside. And here's what the back looks like. And again, this is the Sharper Image Smartphone 10 times zoom lens. Um, I doubt seriously we'll ever use the 10 times zoom lens, but you never know. We really just wanted it for the tripod to hold the phone. Um, And I'll read you what comes in the box. You get a, uh, let me take this top. And these are about three years old, so you're not gonna find these probably at Best Buy or anything. These are probably gonna be at all the secondhand places like Tuesday morning and Best Buy. And, I mean, uh, Big Lots, those kind of places is where I would expect you to find these. Okay, so you get a uh, 10 times zoom lens right here. Oh, say hello. Um, this is the lens that you can put on there. Like I said, that's probably something we'll never use. You never know, but we, I doubt it. Um, comes with the tripod, which is what we were looking for. And uh, you tighten it up right here. It tightens up pretty good. Um, you get a universal lens adapter, which is right here which means it'll it'll fit on any smartphone not just an iphone uh, 4. you get the um, universal clamp which is this and it's spring loaded so this is this end's going to go on your tripod mount and then it lifts up like this to, to spring load it you get a um, iphone 4 or 4s case and i did not realize how much bigger uh, tammy's phone was than this and then I get my six, and there's no way that's fitting in there. <laughs> and it's too narrow, too. So, over, I mean, it's just huge compared to that. When I was carrying my four, I never realized how small it was. I mean, that's that's tiny. Hold that in your hand. Do you remember that being that small? No. I know. Isn't it amazing? It's pretty small. Yeah. Because Tammy's got a five right now, and it's bigger than that. It won't fit in there either. And then you get a lens cloth for cleaning, which... I don't know, it feels like a little, just a little felt pad to me is what it feels like. So what you do is you take, and if you're wondering how I know, I already opened mine just to play with it. So I would know kind of how they work. Um, you take this and you just um, screw it in place. And if you get the wrong end, it won't screw in. So see, I've got the wrong side. So go to the other side and it screws in place. And then what I did, tighten this up as tight as you can and then take this and tighten it up. Uh, to where it's not going to move at all. That gives it a really good stable. It's not going anywhere holder. This will also fit on a regular tripod. I think if, if you get a regular full-size tripod, that looks like the same screw adapter that a regular tripod is. I don't know. I didn't try it, but it looks like it is. Um, again, this screw, um, you turn it and it loosens it up to where you can put it at different angles. You can even turn it sideways and turn it upright like that if you want to. I have your phone this way instead of sideways, which I always like to do my videos sideways. So what I... I like to do is just kind of let it hang straight down and tighten it up and that way it's not crooked because you don't want crooked videos and then just tighten that up really good and then you probably won't have to worry about that too much everything else you can pull these legs out on the tripod and you grab these little black things and pull and it extends up just like that and if you need to tilt it like back a little bit just take the tripod legs and push them back a little bit Instead of having to bend this, just move your tripod legs. If you need to move this one, just, you know, if you need to move sideways or whatever, that's how I did it personally. Um, now, Tammy's phone fits, fits in here pretty good. I could fit her her 5, and the 5S is the same size. You could fit this one and those in there pretty good. The 6, it will fit, but it is a tight 
fit. And I'll show you what I mean. What I have to do is I have to take it like this and push it up and then slide this all the way back, making sure not to get the power buttons and stuff. And you it will hold. right now, showing an email. Oh, hello from email. There you go. Um, <laughs> so this is how I have to fit mine in there, just slide it up in there. Uh, and it fits pretty good, it's pretty snug. Uh, I would worry about it sooner or later with mine maybe breaking these little pins off sooner or later if I'm stretching it like that every time. Time will tell. I don't know. Um, if I were to use that universal adapter, what happens is you slide this down. Um, let's see how it's going there. Yeah, it feels like this. You slide it down these two little slots right here. And then you would uh, tighten this up to keep it from moving. And then you screw this in here. But I realized something um, with, now if you have the four, if you have a four or four S, you just screw it directly into the case and you have it. With these, you have to use this adapter. I just realized something though. If I want to get that camera over, I mean, that lens over this camera, first of all, it'll go that low but if I slide this down here, it's hitting my volume buttons and my power button, on which they move to the side. So if I move that down there, it's going to hit the buttons and it's going to be recording, turn it off, turn it on. So that will not work for this phone. Um, like I said, I never had intention of using it anyway, but just to let you know, if you did want to ever use that, um, you really can't use it at all for the 6. I don't think you could use it for your phone because it's going to be hitting the volume buttons on yours as well, isn't it? Um, yeah, they're right there. So that, yeah. that thing would be pinching your buttons all the time. Uh, now, if you've got another kind of phone that doesn't have buttons in the way, then, then you could probably use it. So it seems to be okay. It seems to work pretty good. I actually tried it out and recorded a video. It did seem to be fine. It worked pretty good. It's, it, you can see it's pretty sturdy. Um, it holds your phone steady. It doesn't move around a lot if I bump it. Um, it doesn't want to fall or slide or tilt or anything like that. Um, it's got multitude of angles, so if I want to move it like side to side or front and back, you can. If you want to tilt it forward, you can do that off and just loosen the screw up and tilt it and then tighten it back up. What I found was just like any of these loose ball joint areas, when you loosen the screw up and you bend it down, you also want to tilt it side to side. It's really hard to get it straight and tilted forward. That's why I'm saying I, I would just use the legs. If I want to tilt it forward, just, just bend your legs down a little bit. Now that's too far, but I think I would do that no matter what. You can bend the legs down a little bit. I don't know. You might be able to tilt it. Let me try. I don't want to drop my phone on the table either. No, no. You can do that. That definitely works. So if you wanted to work on something on your hands, uh, then you could. Hold on. Let me see. Yeah. I don't know what that looks like, but if you wanted to work at something low. It's just showing me. Oh, I'm too far away. Hello. If I wanted to show something like that, I could. You know, is that about right? Mm -hmm. Of course, I would have it turned the other way to where I can actually see. But, um, but yeah, anyway, that, that works out pretty good. It'll definitely work for what we want it for, to hold our phones while we're doing videos um, and not propping it up on stuff and falling all over the place, things like that. So uh, this one I'm going to probably leave at home for Tammy. And I'll take mine to work. And hopefully, if you watch my lunchtime review videos, you won't have me sitting here holding it at arm's length anymore. Um, although, those really got my face. Now, if I get this and it goes further away, you're going to get more of, of like more of a body shot, which I don't, I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but we'll see. So anyway, I hope that helps. And if you, if you do happen to see these at Tuesday morning, uh, pick them up for 7 bucks. You know, it's not too bad a deal. And um, if you need have a need for a tripod, and uh, thanks for watching.